So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and force stop an application on your iPhone. Now, the weird thing is, is that there's not really a main way of doing this. There's not like a force stop button or anything. The main thing you can do for the most part is to restart your iPhone. So let's say you're in an application, right? And you're, let's just say the application, and let's just say the phone cannot swipe out of the application, whether you're swiping up like your phone is frozen. Well, the only thing you can do here for the most part is to restart your phone. So hold down the volume up button and the power button at the same time and see if we're able to get into this panel. If you're able to get into this panel, then go ahead and slide your phone to power off. If you're not, you can try clicking a phone, you can try clicking the volume up button, volume down button, and then hold down the side button. If for some reason that's not working, you can go and click the volume up button, volume down button, and then hold down the side button right here and keep holding down that button until your phone completely powers off and then you know it actually restarts. So that is another option that you have too. And those are basically the main ways of doing it if you're inside the application. You wanna go ahead and then restart your phone. And from there, you can go ahead and kind of, you know, delete the application or whatever. But let's say you're able to hop out of an application. Well, in that case, what you can try doing is try getting into multitasking or, you know, the multi-panel. So what you wanna do is from the bottom, if you have a home button iPhone, double click the iPhone home button. But if you have a gesture iPhone like this, swipe up from the bottom, just like how I did. So kind of grab it and then swipe up like that. And what you want to do is you want to find that application. So let's say it's Snapchat. Let's say Snapchat's giving me some trouble. All you have to do is go and grab this application and swing it out of the way. Now, you might, you can do all applications if you want, if you want to re kind of restart all of them. But that will go ahead and kind of clear that up in the background. So now if you want, you can go and open up that application. And it should bring you back into your main panel. And it should kind of refresh the app. Now, for some reason, that's not really working either. You can delete the application and kind of go from there. You can see if there's an update available for the application too, or you can uninstall the app and reinstall it. So those are pretty much the main ways to do it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well done.